Hey guys, Malcolm here at Bug Out Brothers, and today I am bringing you 10 survival tips and tricks. Stay tuned. When creating a signal fire, bows of green pine and spruce work very well. The reason for this is that they produce a lot of smoke and the resin inside the branches burns very intensely. If you're ever lost in the desert, you can urinate on a piece of cloth such as a bandana or a t-shirt and wrap it around your head. It might not smell the best, but it'll help keep your head cool and prevent heat stroke. And if you didn't know this, heat stroke is the second highest cause of death in the desert right next to dehydration. You can use an analog watch to determine which way is north. You do this by pointing the hour hand at the sun and then drawing an imaginary line between the hour hand and the 12 o'clock symbol. Now that line is going to be your north-south line and north will always be the direction away from the sun. Now if you don't have an analog watch but you have a cell phone, you can then draw in the sand or draw with sticks an analog watch and it'll still be accurate. Char cloth can be created by heating a strip of cotton cloth inside a metal container. The resulting char cloth makes a great fire starter because it usually only takes one small spark to ignite it and turn it into an ember. Hand sanitizer is a common antiseptic that's found in many homes. Because its main ingredient is alcohol, it is very flammable and makes for a great fire starter. Fatwood is derived from the resin saturated heartwood of pine trees. It's very common for outdoorsmen to use the shavings of fatwood to help start their fires. Also, the smoke from fatwood makes a great mosquito repellent. If you're caught in cold weather with insufficient insulation, you can stuff your clothes with dry grass, leaves, newspapers, whatever you can find to further increase your insulation and retain more body heat. It is possible to get water out of tree leaves. You can do this by wrapping a clear plastic bag around a bundle of leaves and as the sun forces the moisture inside the leaves to evaporate, it'll get trapped inside the plastic bag and form in a pool at the bottom. Toothpaste can be used to reduce the pain of bug bites and insect stings, as well as reduce the swelling. Tampons can be used to clog deep wounds. They work so well because they are designed to absorb moisture, and as they swell, they will conform to the shape of the wound. There you have it, 10 survival tips and tricks. If you guys know any good tips, let me know down in the comments below and I might just feature you in my next video.